video recording on El Faro's VDR begins at 5.30 a.m. on September 30th, eight hours into the doomed ship's voyage out of Jacksonville. During the morning of September 30th, the captain and chief mate discussed the forecasted weather and agreed on a course diversion that they believed would keep them sufficiently clear of the eye of the storm. Throughout the morning, several conversations on weather and route planning are recorded. The captain, Mike Davidson, leaves the bridge that night around 8 p.m. In the early morning hours of October 1st, the day of the ship sinking, the track and strength of Joaquin begins to change. 1.15 a.m. Oh my God, says the second mate. Now it's a category three. The second mate calls the captain moments later. After the phone call with the captain ended, the second mate indicated to another crew member on the bridge that the captain wanted to stay on the planned course. By 4 a.m., things quickly get worse, and so does the audio. The final moments of the recording come in around 7.30 a.m. between the captain and one crew member. You gonna leave me, says the crew member. Then the captain, I'm not leaving. Then sounds of screaming. 7.38 a.m. Crew member, I need someone to help me. You don't want to, you going to help me. Captain, I'm the only one here. Crew member, I can't, spoken clearly and loudly. I'm gone. I'm a goner. The captain yelling, no, you're not. 7.39 a.m. Crew member, just help me. The captain exclaims loudly, let's go. It's time to come this way, the captain says, then yelling, and suddenly the audio cuts off. The NTSB says its exploration of the VDR is finished, but they are still investigating the weather equipment used on board, particularly how outdated some of it may have been when it finally reached the captain. In the studio, I'm Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.